Howdy folks, this is Jethro and Lugnut. We're here for another episode of Sunday Morning Model Cars and Coffee. It's uh, it's actually Saturday night when we're filming this because it's not going to happen on Sunday morning with us. So uh, we're going different directions and it just isn't going to happen. So we try to do it on Saturday evening. So I um, hope you all are doing well. Um, you'll, you'll be seeing this on Sunday morning or later, but... Uh, Anyway, we're doing another another one of the series and cars models that uh, we built when Lugnut was a was a littler feller than he is now. Um, but uh, we built several, and we're getting towards the end of what we've built. And after, I think after this one, we kind of turned him loose on his own with building a few models. So, anyway, this is the thirty four. Or we got our coffee mugs too. I got my, one of my Ford mugs. It's uh, got the different uh, different badges and stuff. And old Al's got the uh, Mark Martin. About a ninety nine. You can't I see it. it. It's out of oh, screen. It is out of shot. Yeah, it's about a ninety nine. Yeah, there it is. Somewhere on the yeah. But anyway, that's what we got for our mugs. And uh, this is uh, this is the model. And this is basically the kit. Not the kit. This is just another one. I bought two of these when I bought them. I believe these are big lots finds way back in the day, back in the mid nineties. I bought, they had those and I bought two because you can do so many different things with a 34 Ford. I probably should have bought three or four of them, but um, I, I got two, we built one and that one's still in the stash. It's all, it's open, but I've never done any. I've never opened the plastic on it or anything. So that's, that's what it was, the AMT 34 Ford street rod. It, um, did a pretty decent job. This this car built up nicely. Um, real happy with that. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit so you can see. Um, basically, just a box, just a box stock build. Is absolutely everything out of the box. Uh, we did nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. The only thing we did weird on this one was glued the grill onto the hood. I don't know and why. Took, that, well, because we took the sides off of it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's probably why. That We're going was, for the but, custom look. Yeah, yeah. I I very much prefer <clears throat> having the side open so you can see the engine. Even though it is a Chevy. Yeah, it's it's an it's an unfortunate power plant in there. I believe the, I remember asking about putting a flathead in it, and you were like, "No, we don't have a spare one in yeah, in our we stash because we, we didn't, didn't have any have parts one. boxes yeah. yet." It was yeah. early in our. Uh, well, early in my modeling days, well, obviously, but before before I we picked up a lot of parts yeah, boxes. Yeah, I would have had stuff. a couple of them in the '49 Ford kit uh, that I'm supposed to be working on right now. <laughs> I am a little bit at a time, but anyway, um, does it come out pretty good? We just we painted it, um, painted the interior. Um, engine is just the, the engine as it came. Uh, small block Chevy. I, I think I, I just to work on that a lot more than yeah. The last I think simple. I think you I did, did. I did a lot of the you did the work. most of that. We didn't know what Mod Podge was, so we have nice white headlights. Yeah, um, we just use model glue underneath. Uh, painted it up fairly nice. Uh, we we're a little too liberal with the glue, but hey, was, it stayed together. That was probably a me <laughs> thing as yeah, well. I, probably that's okay. I mean, I think it was my first your your first time kind of turning me loose on that side of things. Yeah, this is the, a pretty pretty neat street rod. I mean, it's got independent suspension. I think that's a Corvette rear end and front suspension. I'm not sure exactly what all it is, but it's all fully independent suspension and everything. Pretty cool car. Nice kit. Um, but, um, yeah, we always had fun doing that, and now we're busy and don't get to do much building models. And when I build a model, it takes me four months to finish one, apparently, and counting. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm over eight on mine. Yeah, it's yeah. barely gotten anything done to it. So yeah. At any rate, that's uh, not a whole lot else to to talk about on that one. I didn't, you know, it's been a long time ago we did this one. I don't remember exactly. Over ten years, I'd yeah, say it's close been to fifteen, 15 years. Probably fifteen years. That's when we did most of them. Right around the time you were six to ten twelve maybe and you started doing one your own a little bit but anyway that's what we got i uh, don't want to keep you all too long we're up uh, close to five minutes already so uh we're just going to sign it off here and i uh, hope you all have a great day 
Sunday today and a uh, great rest of the week. And uh, one of these days I'm going to actually have an update on my 49 Ford Cobra. Um, got some work done on it, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not, uh, not motivated completely. But uh, we'll get back to it. So uh, anyway, that's about it. Keep you, kept you long enough. We're going to let you all go and uh, hope you all have a great week. And we will see you on the next one. This is Jethro. And Lugnut. Over, Over and out. out.